everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new my name is Kristen today's video is the twin flame collective energy report and I am filming this on the 7-7 portal which is a twin flame activation day and what that means is the numeric numbers line up with cosmic energies and bring in light codes and upgrades for twin flames and for their mission. So today is a huge activation uh, day and if you are experiencing ascension symptoms today or getting downloads, now you know why. Before I get started with the video, I just want to make a couple of announcements. The first announcement is uh, this is going to be the last video before I pick the winner for the giveaway. I realize that a lot of people um, that are subscribed to this channel watch either Ascension reports or Twin Flame videos. And there are some people in the Twin Flame category that don't watch any of the other videos that I make and so they are unaware of the giveaway. And so if you would like to enter the giveaway, I made it to 5,000 subscribers and I'm giving away a healing session with me. So to um, enter the giveaway, you need to be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment about what you have learned about your Twin Flame union from watching this channel. And the other announcement that I wanna make is if you are a Twin Flame and only watching Twin Flame videos, you are missing a lot of valuable information. Just because the title doesn't say Twin Flames doesn't mean the information isn't for you. Um, I am channeling for Twin Flames on the path to ascension. I am channeling for empaths and light workers, and every video that I make will help you in your Twin Flame union, especially, especially especially if you have met your twin flame and you are not with them right now. Please consider watching all of the videos. If the title resonates with you, even if it doesn't say twin flames, there probably is some valuable information in there for you. The other thing that I want to mention is I work from pe with people from all over the world and I see a lot of similarities and I see a lot of themes. And so that's what I'm sharing in this video. So only take what resonates for you. If the message doesn't resonate for you, it just means that it is a message for someone else, okay? And first, I'm going to start with twin flames who have not met. So you know you're a twin flame, and you are probably seeing, feeling, experiencing energetically your twin flame, and then you're wondering why the physical union here on Earth hasn't happened. And the reason why is because one or both of you had more healing work to do on yourself. There were codependency programs, unworthiness, programs of not being seen, afraid to being, being seen. A lot of you didn't know who you were and are just starting to realize your true power and step into it. And if you don't know who you are and you meet your twin flame, it isn't going to work out. You have to know who you are first so that you can have harmonious union without the separation and all of that painful stuff. So that is not necessary in the twin flame path, okay? It happens in some twin flames um, because there's healing that needs to be done. But if you haven't met your twin flame, I encourage you to make sure that you have room in your life for this person that you have room energetically in your heart and in your energy field, and that you also have room in your life. If you don't, you need to start making some changes so you can make space for this person to enter. Now, during quarantine, a lot of people who were not interested in relationship suddenly became interested in relationship because being alone wasn't very fun. So a lot of heart activations happened for Divine Masculine during quarantine when they had the epiphanies of, it would be a lot nicer to be in a partnership with my beloved than go on this alone right now. So if you haven't met your twin, know they are coming, make room in your life, get yourself healed, know who you are, and in divine timing, they will, they will appear. So if you have met your twin flame and you are not currently dating or in communication or if communication is sporadic um, or if things just haven't all clicked together, it is because there is more healing that needs to be done on both of your parts. And you need to pull your power back from this pain. 
Um, if you are still in heartbreak, if you're still feeling rejected, if you are still angry at your twin, it's not gonna happen right now and it's not supposed to happen right now. You've gotta work through all of that stuff first. So it's really important that you call your power back. It is really important that you're not angry with your twin, that you have fully forgiven for whatever happened in the past. And it is also very important that um, you're healed. So one of the major reasons why the separation phase happens for twin flames is because they are healing some sort of childhood trauma. And if you are still in uh, the PTSD energy, you are repelling things because that's what PTSD does. If you've got traumatic episodes still happening, there's a lot of repelling in your field, not magnetization. So it's very similar messages. If you haven't met your twin, you're on a healing journey. And if you have met your twin, but it hasn't all come together yet, you're on a healing journey and you actually need to take your attention off of your twin flame union and off of that other person. Call all of your power back to yourself, put your attention back on yourself and making self-love and your spiritual awakening your priorities. If you are dating your twin or married to your twin, Congratulations, you have come through some really powerful initiations and hopefully you are experiencing harmonious union. And if you're not experiencing harmonious union or if there is still discordant energy in the relationship, it typically is because one person is waking up faster than the other. And we need to hold space and have compassion for the person who is still in the energy of releasing their ego programs. Typically twins zigzag. One person goes here, then the other person reaches them. And it sort of goes like this until it balances itself out. So balancing the energy out in yourself is how the energy gets balanced in your union. And if you find yourself frustrated with your partner, take a walk, get away from the energy, and remember why you fell in love with them. Remember why, why you're together in the first place. Remember the things that drew you to this person um, and what activated both of you guys when you met and get those energies um, flowing in your vibration and then go back home and see if that starts to shift the dynamic. All right, so I wanted to just mention a song that I've been hearing in my head for the last couple of weeks. It was like a really obscure song from 1985 by Mike and the Mechanics, All I Need Is a Miracle. And it took me time to piece this song together to even figure out what it was so I could share the lyrics with you guys. Um, but this is definitely a twin speaking to their beloved about um, what went wrong and um, how they have had a change of heart. And so the first lyrics that um, in the song I want to share are I went out of my way just to hurt you the one I shouldn't hurt at all I thought I was being cool yeah I thought I was being strong but it's always the same old story you never know what you got till it's gone all I need is a miracle all I need is you all I need is a miracle all I need is you all I need is a miracle all I need is you if I ever catch up with you I'm gonna love you for the rest of your life I think that's an amazing place to end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wishing you a magical 7-7 portal, holding space for your twin flame union, and all the information to book an appointment with me is below. And the winner for the giveaway will be announced in the next video. And stay tuned because it will be a surprise. Don't forget, in the last announcement of the giveaway winner, I dressed up as a magical fairy godmother. So let's see what I do this time. Lots of love, everybody. Namaste.